Ah, the cradle finish. Or the wall crawl, whatever floats your boat. You've probably seen this guy do it thousands of times. If you don't know who that is, that's Kyrie Irving. He has one of the best, if not the best, finishing packages in the game. So how do you do this? Well, it's easier than you think. You don't have to be crazy athletic to do this either because I've seen numerous people do this move who aren't crazy athletic, and I'm one of those people. What I learned from this move, it's all about timing, simplicity, momentum, the use of the backboard, and angles. So timing and simplicity. You need to understand when to do this move because sometimes you should just lay the ball up. Don't get me wrong, I love doing fancy moves because it makes me look cool, but remember that simple moves get the job done. I'm not saying don't add the move to your bag, but just know when to use the move. For example, Here's Jason Richardson, down by two with eight minutes left. He wants to do a 360 and instead gets blocked by LeBron. He could have just done a layup or a simple dunk. There's a time and place for everything, just like this one. If you notice when D Rose does this move, he recognizes the help. He's not worried about the person in front of him. He's worried about the help defense. And when the help defense is helping hard, that's when he does this move. He knows when and where to do this move and he notices the defense is gonna try and block him. So he does the cradle to show the ball and generate power by using momentum. So he could finish on the other side which is why he swings the ball from his right side to his left we'll get more into this in a little bit but the point is derrick rose did the move at the right time and right place remember you don't have to be fancy all the time a simple bucket is just fine momentum this applies to a lot of concepts in basketball but to put it in simple terms use momentum to generate power when finishing here i'm using d rose a lot because he uses momentum a lot in his play style especially when he was younger notice again how d rose blew by the first defender and it just worried about the Help. Then once he notices the help starting to slide, he brings the ball up to fake and make the defender jump, then brings the ball back down to generate momentum, which allows him to finish on the other side pretty effortlessly. It's like a swing set. Use your feet and bring your feet inwards, then push your feet outwards, which creates power that allows you to actually swing back and forth. It's the same concept here. d Rose brings the ball up, then swings downward to generate force to bring the ball back up to finish on the other side. By the way, I have a video about this on my channel. Literally, you could use momentum with anything in basketball, and it helps you score too. Back Backboard and angles. An easy way to learn the spin and angles of the backboard is by doing this. It's super simple and honestly, it's just repetition. Here, Kyrie actually explains it in this clip. If you look around, there's so many angles that yeah, you put the proper spin and it'll go in. And you have to practice that. And literally just stand here and just spin it on both sides. If you want a real world example, here. Imagine you opening the door and you grab the doorknob. If you don't have a doorknob but have a handle, I'm sorry. But when you twist the doorknob, it's actually simulating the wrist twist or the wrist movement when you try to add the spin on the layup. Here's Kyrie spinning his wrist on the layup. is invisible and then dominant as oh. we mentioned this guy's off wow. the charts Derek Rose again oh my goodness 